So the state of crypto is crazy right now. There's a lot of things happening. And on this video, we're going to explore and break down a few of these things. So let's definitely start off with talking about the state of Algorand. So big shout out to the Algo found. So as we know, Algorand has been trading sideways. We know that Algorand is stuck in a range in terms of price wise. But what we have found is that there's a lot of real world use cases that are being deployed currently as we speak. So when I first got into Algorand or start covering Algorand in uh, 2021, there was no dApps, no applications. There wasn't anything built but an idea. There was a blockchain that was available and people were very excited about this blockchain. And I was definitely one of those people. So we here today. Now we see from zero applications to, let's say, maybe hundreds or at least a solid group of applications that are active. You know, the lofty AIs, the non-fungible domains, the travel X's, the EXA markets, and uh, many of these applications that we talk about all the time. Very exciting. Um, what we want to do now is really go in and focus a little bit on India, right? Because this is where I think a lot of the market will happen for cryptocurrency and generally Asia, right? So I'm going to share a screen with you. And then we're going to go beyond the hype and unravel what is actually going on. So beyond the hype, unraveling the real world application of Algorand's blockchain. So there's a few things that emerge. Algorand has emerged as a viable platform among the rising uh, fervor surrounding blockchain technology, going beyond the hype to provide practical real world applications, businesses, developers, governments, all interested in Algorand's blockchain because of its scalability, security, and decentralization. This essay will examine the numerous and useful uses of Algorand's blockchain, illuminating how it is reshaping numerous industries and stimulating innovation. So they talk about enhancing financial transaction speed. Um, very true. Algorand can definitely be the Internet of Things micropayments uh, pay per use type of platform. Right. Then we have supply chain management streamlining. So I know there's apps like um, Bilal's shout out to Bilal's uh, Fame Farm Fame app where it is definitely doing some type of supply chain management and helping out farmers, which I believe is another great project that y'all should look into. And then we have revolution in decentralized finance. There's a lot of applications, indexes, tiny mans, the pack fives, uh, you know, things of that nature that are still in deployment. AlgoFi did shut down, um, which happens to be the U.S. platform, which I think is very interesting. Then we have digital identity security. This is the vendables, like we said, the non-fungible domains. Uh, shout out to them. Seawill.algo is the domain that I have. And then you see governance and elections about voting, you know, asset tokenization, tokenization of real world and fractional ownership. This one's very important. So we're going to dive in a little bit deeper on um, the tokenization of these uh, assets here. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. By enabling asset tokenization, Algorand's blockchain is revolutionizing the real estate sector. Traditional real estate investments frequently demand sizable sums of money, which restricts access to expensive homes. However, Algorand's blockchain enables the tokenization of real world assets, dividing them into smaller parts that are simple to sell. A wider range of investors now have access to investment options with which encourages more liquidity in the real estate market. Additionally, property transfers become simpler thanks to the tokenization of the blockchain of Algorand. It simplifies the acquisition, sale, transfer of ownership, increasing the effectiveness and efficiency of real estate investments. Algorand also uses smart contracts to make sure that everyone abides by the agreements that they agreed upon, which increases security and confidence in real estate transactions. So there's a platform called CoBuy, that also facilitates real estate uh, for group home ownership, friends and family and whatnot. 
and they use the Algorand blockchains as the underlying technology. Then we have Lofty AI, which sells fractionalized homes and in, in, um, so that people can buy these properties at lower entries of $50 or more. And then you have the opportunity, you know, to buy and receive passive income. So these are type of platforms and assets that we know are very, very important for the growth and, um, and decentralization, right? And that puts people in a situation to become bosses and owners in their own right, okay? So that's enough for Algorand. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Algorand is in a situation that is really good. Algorand's in a situation that is really good. So let's move on to um, talk about the next big subject of today. And this is Bitcoin UK ETF, right? So this is going to be huge. Uh, I know you're going to be excited about this one here. So Bitcoin, uh, it's been a lot of news about Bitcoin ETFs, a lot of news um, that people, you know, are paying attention to. So Europe's first Bitcoin ETF set to launch after a 12 month delay. European digital asset assets exchange traded products have so far been structured as exchange traded notes, right? Uh, Europe's first Bitcoin exchange traded fund e ETF is expected to be publicly listed this month, 12 months after it, at its planned launch. Jacoby Asset Management originally announced that its Bitcoin ETF was to list on Euronext Amsterdam in July 2020, so they're late. However, it is now says that the fund is on track to launch this month, having decided that last year the time wasn't right following a Terra Luna's cryptocurrency crash. That was crazy. And then the FTX. Right. So demand has shifted since last summer. All right. Here we go. In Europe, all digital assets exchange traded products so far have been structured as exchange traded notes. They're notes rather than funds. Each ETF shareholder owns a portion of the fund's underlying shares, while investors and ETNs own a debt security, not the underlying asset, right? So there's an obligation there. Jacobia has made much of the fact that it is launching an ETF rather than an exchange trade. And no, this is huge. So we're going to scroll down a little bit here, um, right here. Net flows into European digital assets ETPs over the past 18 months amounted to 483 million, including inflows of 398 million in third quarter and 22 alone. So there's a demand for this. Assets in European digital assets stand at four over 4 billion, having peaked at 10.5 billion in 2021. Um, you know, this is huge. So it looks like it is going to happen. It looks like Europe is ready to move forward. The UK, United Kingdom is ready to move forward with cryptocurrency. They are ready to, you know, let the people put the crypto into their hands, into their custody without much, you know, fret, without much um, issues there. And I think that is huge. Um, Make sure that y'all leave a comment below if this actually interests you. Because if we see the UK doing it, it's going to be some point where Canada does it, some point where the US does it. And I think that will spark a catalyst and a boom. All right, let's move forward to this uh, next story here is that Fed now integrates micro payment partner, right? Michael Payment Partner integrates uh, retail transactions for Hedera. So Hedera has been chosen. Okay, chosen. The U.S. Federal Reserve Fed has integrated DROP, right? Pay attention to this. Into Fed now payment rails to enable faster micropayments and non-fungible token trades built on Hedera Hashgraph. DROP supports USD, USDC, and HBAR transfers. So stable coins and then HBAR uh, assets. This is crazy, you know. Micropayments offer cheaper settlement for long term benefits. This technology marks a move away from content subscription model. Instead of paying annually or monthly for content catalog, customers can choose to only pay for what they consume. Mm. 
former Apple CEO Steve Jobs offered iTunes customers Michael payments to buy songs. The strategy boosted sales of the first iPod, even though transaction fees nibble at profit margins. Um, so then we fast forward to 2023. Apple services business include music streaming accounts for most of its revenue and Q2. So essentially, we're seeing micro payments taking off. And that's what's important to read about is micro payments. Right. Um, drop could foreshadow government surveillance on retail transactions. There's some things that scare people. Right. Politicians argue Fed now protends economic censorship. They believe it aligns with anti crypto agenda. So. At the end of the day, what I see here is that Hedera, again, is being chosen, right? That's a fast, smooth blockchain. Then we have, you know, the Fed um, feeling comfortable with this move, feeling comfortable with micropayments. They're feeling comfortable with using blockchain then, right? And that's what's important. Well, blockchains like Stellar Lumens, XRP, Algorand be used, who knows? But it does, what really matters is the applications. So if we're talking about the applications, you have to pay attention to why they chose Hedera. It's not because fully of Hedera, it's because of the way Hedera has been used, right? So here, check this out. Uh, this is Drop, drop.cc. It's now live on Spotify and WordPress, right? Integrations. But this is the, the platform and why Hedera has been chosen. Micro payment platform for small value purchases. Micro, remember, small, poquito. Enabling a pay per use digital econ economy free of paywalls and subscriptions, right? Merchants earn more, keep more, click to learn more, right? Uh, let's check this out. Quick one minute review of drop. Unlocking cost effective. You know, it has been an economic barrier for new digital fraction offerings until now. Drop the world's most cost effective digital platform. Set payments 10x times cheaper than a $1 payment, pay per use, micro tipping for gamers, subscription, parking meters, vending machines. We're talking about everything that is really, really small. Pay with drop 35 cents. This is huge. You see this demo? Earn as you go. Rewards. There's a lot there. Pay with your bank account or credit card and pay in multiple currencies. Let me know if you bullish on this in the comments below. Um, this is definitely a game changer that people want to pay attention to. Hey, Cash App, PayPal. Watch out. So Forbes says a good example of the consumer model is drop. Forbes is pushing it, you know, fintech future banking tech awards finalists and the highly commended merchant highlights make purchases from drop enable Shopify stores like soft cotton mass on Spotify Shopify support music content using drop uh, on chill filter. Um, it's a lot of things happening that again, that people should pay attention to Hedera has been chosen like you know what i mean um so let's move on a little bit more so, so we know that fed now support supports Hedera. so um let's move over and talk about the uh sec right let's talk about it because there's news about xrp again popping on the scene which you know the XRP army, a lot of people have been happy about the rulings, but we're watching and we're learning and we're learning that there might be an appeal, right? Mm -hmm. SEC bites back to appeal federal court ruling XRP case. So in mid-July, a federal court settled a years-long battle between Ripple Labs and SEC. Ripple is the founder of XRP to decide if Ripple's XRP token was a security or not. Southern District of New York Judge Annalisa Torres ruled that the XRP token is not a security when sold to the general public. 
but it could be treated as one with regards to past sales to institutions. So just looking at this here, on one hand, selling to the retail wasn't, you know, bad, it wasn't bad news or, you know, against their law. But on the other hand, selling to the institutions was. So keep that in mind. The regulators... The regulator doesn't seem to be happy with the partial victory. The SEC said the court filing on Wednesday would be filed as an interlocutory appeal for Torres's ruling. Interlocutory review is warranted here, the SEC said in the new filing. Two issues involve controlling questions of how of law on which there is a substantial ground for differences of opinion as reflected by intra-district split that already developed. Basically, this means the SEC wants to redo on the first half of the case, wants to redo. And to be fair, the somewhat split ruling was a bit confusing initially. Torres has said that some of the Ripple's pro pro uh, problematic sales of XRP tokens didn't violate security laws because they involved a bidding process. But direct sales to institutions did fall under ambit of security laws. It's a lot there. And we need to keep diving deeper. U.S. seeks to appeal Ripple, Ripple's Labs crypto decision. The SEC said an appeal court addressed legal issues on this, which there was a substantial ground for differences of opinion. So all this looks like here is that there's going to be an appeal, right? And if they make an appeal... The cases could be back on. I already made a short about this recently and actually a few months ago, and I said the case might not be over. Then I made another short uh, about a week or so ago, and it was about the appeal. And if this appeal goes through, which they have about, I think, another uh, till August 28th or so to make sure that they submit their paperwork so they can do a blackout date and then they'll find a course court case time, which will happen sometime early next year. This could be another long process. What I see right now is that I see a high possibility that the case will happen again, and it might be another year or two arguing about whether the institutional sales of the XRP token was legal or not. It's a lot to think about but we shall pay attention to this as much as we can. All right, y'all. So again, we covered Algorand in India, Bitcoin, UK ETF, Fed now supports Hedera and XRP. It may or may not be over, but we have to continue to tap in. So make sure y'all leave any comments, questions below or any other topics or things that I did not cover in this video and we'll get to it on Thursday. All right, y'all. Again, appreciate y'all for tapping in. See what with the Passive Income Network. I am gone. Go to work to buy more coins. Feel like Cameron. Oh, boy. What you gonna do next? I might buy me a jet. Take a flight to Dubai. Algorand in the sky.